blamed us or not. Uh-oh. Oh my. Wow. Um, let me check, folks. I just did the whole show, and um, I don't think I was recording. Wow, that's too bad. Um, I ended the video and found out that I was actually just starting it. So now I'm videoing when I thought I was finished. So I can do it again. Wow. Okay. Well, um, yeah, the show begins. I can't believe it. I just did the whole thing. So we'll do it again. Um, this is Keith James from uh, uh, St. James UCC. Um, I hope you're all having a good afternoon now at, um, oh, at uh, five minutes to three. So we're a little late today. Um, I guess I did a dry run by mistake. I wasn't videoing. So, um, yeah, um, like yesterday, um, I um, picked, a, I picked, a, picked a melody, uh, came to my mind that I wanted to um, do, and I wasn't sure where to find the melody. I, I was very familiar with the song, the tune, but couldn't remember what hymnal or what uh, tradition I had learned it under. I've been, I've been a, mm, was, was born a Presbyterian, then we went um, and, and Dutch Reformed. We ended up in the Dutch Reformed Church. Then I went to the Episcopal Church when I was in fourth grade and sang in the Men and Boys Choir there for 10 years. As an adult, I've been um, in many different environments. Um, um, Southern Baptist, evangelical settings down in Raleigh, North Carolina, Lutheran Church in, um, in Boone, North Carolina when I was in college from age 40 to 45. And um, I'm a Catholic, I'm a convert to Catholicism, and I kind of consider that my last stop. I'm not changing that status, even though I'm not actually going to Mass or practicing as a Catholic. Um, that's kind of my last stop on the ecumenical um, journey. Um, I'm, I'm keeping my status as a Catholic, and I, I would like to get back to it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I'm very happy to be the organist at St. James UCC right now, um, and also learning another tradition. And this is the tradition of my family, because my, um, my father's um, family had a number of Dutch Reformed pastors um, down the line. And, um, they were actually, um, well, there was a lot of Dutch in my family. My, my, my grandmother was from a Dutch line, and, um, and my grandfather's mother, I think, was from a Dutch line. A lot of Dutch, but there was also Scottish. My grandfather's father's side was Scottish. And when um, um, some relatives of mine, they, went, they were on their way to Princeton to, become a, to be, go to theological school at Princeton, become Presbyterian pastors. And they stopped in New, in New Brunswick on the way, and they never left. They went to um, the theology school at Rutgers, which is Dutch, which was Dutch Reformed. Now I guess it's UCC. The Dutch, I'm not sure. The Dutch Reformed Church was mostly absorbed by the United Church of Christ, so they're very uh, similar traditions. And my parents went to St. James UCC here in Allentown, where I am at now, and so I've been having a relationship with uh, St. James for a long time. I I visited with my parents, even though I was going to a different church, and then I ended up subbing at St. James on the organ for a number of years. A couple times a year I'd sub there, and then we have uh, an unfortunate um, loss of our organist, of the organist at St. James, almost two years ago now, and um, and I thought, wow, maybe this is, um, maybe it's my turn to take my keyboard skills to the organ. So, um, gee, and I can't remember all the things I said during the last show. As I said, I taped this whole show and, and went to the end and found out that I had not been airing. So this is a retake. So um, anyway, it's great to be at St. James UCC, and I'm here this afternoon, every afternoon at 2.30, playing um, hymns for you for about a half an hour, or maybe not quite a half an hour. And uh, in the morning at 10.30, our pastor, Josh, uh, gives a message, and um, he's our pastor of laughter and likes to really lighten up the morning with some, um, some um, theological jokes, I guess you could say, some, some uh, church, church humor. 
that's it, church humor, and, uh, and a message and some scripture. And um, on Sunday, uh, I'm pretty sure he gives a message, of, a homily on Sunday. Um, so every day there's a message. So um, that's uh, Knappenberger JD on the Facebook page. Knappenberger JD is our pastor, JD Knappenberger. But the website's Knappenberger JD. K-N-A-P-P-E-R-B-E-R-G-E-R. -E 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 okay, he's at 10.30. I'm at 2.30, a little late today. And um, um, so I found this melody I was talking about, and um, I didn't know where to find it. And I remembered that uh, Phil Keithy had done a, a guitar version of it on an album back in the 90s, so, and I have it. So I went and looked it up, and it, the melody is called King's Fold. And um, it's... Um, by that name, I thought, gee, it sounds British, but the melody sounds very American, and it is an American melody. It's written by a, a Presbyterian pastor from Philadelphia, Germantown area, back in the um, late 1800s. <laughs> Start. I'm going to play six hymns for you today. Um, so, let's see. Okay. Um, enjoy the music. Wow. See, I'm not really set up. I thought I did the show already, so i got to go back. I guess I was too... Here we go.
This next hymn is called One Day. I don't know this hymn. Um, it's in a funny time signature, 9-4. Um, 9 is, is divisible by 3, so it um, has kind of a waltz feeling. Um, so it's called One Day. Maybe some of you know it. It's out of our UCC celebration hymnal, page 294. It's kind of a early 1900s ragtime feel to it a little bit. Tell me the story of Jesus. Oh, I've lost my foot pedal. Hosanna, Hosanna, copyright 1985, it's a more modern hymn, I think some of you will know it.
So, thank you for joining me this afternoon, and I hope you've had a good, uh, a nice little bit of music for the afternoon. Um, as I said, I recorded the whole show, um, and then lost it, didn't realize I was not on. So I'm not sure what I said and didn't say during the actual broadcast to you, uh, for fear of repeating myself here. Um, so, <laughs> um, I will close this off today. I'll end with the servant song and have a nice afternoon. Thank you.